Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode we're going to be doing a full test and review of the brand new NanoSpark by Exotech. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're gonna to be doing a full test and review of the brand new NanoSpark by Exotech. For those of you out there who are fire starting fanatics, I'm sure you've heard of Exotech. They are responsible for the Fire Sleeve, the Poly Striker, Poly Striker XL, a lot of the really popular made it in USA fire starters that we know today on the market. Now, please excuse my fingernails. I'm still dealing with this marker die from a past video for the boss kits from Sanford Outdoor Supply. Uh, it's been the bane of my existence. But, however, Exotech just recently finished up a Kickstarter for the NanoSpark. It's their new flint wheel design for their fire starting series. And it is nothing special in the way of its uh, flint wheel. It literally creates sparks very reliably, has a smooth wheel, but what sets it apart, and I'm gonna show off a few different spark wheels that I personally own, which is a simple metal spark wheel that I got from Zippo with their emergency fire starter, and the last one I own is the Spark Light, which is from that aviation um, fire starting kit that you can find on Amazon. It's been around for the eight, since the 80s, I believe. It's a really old but tried and true design. I mean, it works really, really, really well, but one thing that Exotac did differently is they made sure you have a nice firm grip. This is a little bit bigger than the other competitions, which I like, so you have better articulation if you need to grab onto this thing. Make sure you have a positive grip. If you're in cold, inclement weather, you could be injured. They also made it available so you could attach it to a lanyard so you can keep it on your pack, you can keep it in your pocket, you can tie it around your neck if you want to. You have a lot of options, but what they did is they made sure, and something they are famous for doing, is basically creating capsules. And this has a capsule built inside where you can hold your own tender. And then there's a spot right here where you can replace the flints. Realistically, that is kind of revolutionary due to the fact that it allows you to hold just this in your hand without having to have any ex anything extra. And you have fire tender, you have a way to light a fire. This is a nice emergency everyday carry backup system that'll work really well, but it's overall in a very light, small form factor. But once you see it, you're kind of thinking to yourself, why the hell did someone not come up with this like five years ago? Now, due to the fact that this is a spark wheel and this does have O-rings to kind of keep everything nice, tight, sealed, and waterproof, they do have a nano spark flint kit, which has five replaceable flints and two different O-rings. I don't know if you have to buy this separately um, in full transparency. I mean, like as you guys, most of you guys know, most of the stuff that ends up on the channel was sent in for free for review. But like I tell the, the companies and you guys, I'm always honest about my thoughts and opinions whether I like or dislike something. So we'll go ahead and get all the really good things out of the way about the NanoSpark. I like it, it's a little bit heavier than the other flint wheels that are the competition. I'll go ahead and get those out of the way. But I can understand the weight value due to the fact that this basically can hold tinder. Now as far as the tinder quick tabs go, which are these things that are famous, they're everywhere, you can buy them at Walmart, you can get them from companies like Soul, Exotac, I mean everyone carries these. But you can only carry one of those in there, but if you decided you wanted to take the little uh, cartridge out that is right here, you could probably put, you could probably take that little metal piece out and just use this container for some smaller pieces of petroleum jelly and cotton balls. You could basically put whatever you want in there. Something that I would probably do, to the, I love the space to weight ratio, are these fat packs from Walzu Survival Gear. I like these because for their size and waterproof capabilities, you get 30 to 45 seconds of fire starting with them. They are also first aid available. It wouldn't be a good test and review and gear review channel if we didn't actually take this thing outside and test it against the different types of tender. So we use the quick tender tabs, which we know are proven. We have these little paraffin wax and cotton sticks that you can get from Zippo. And we did the fat packs, obviously. We also took, this is actually a new product, I think, from Exotech. It is their brand new Tinder Zips. Basically, you can put this on a jacket. You can basically put this anywhere you want, your backpacks, all your packs. You can replace these. And they basically are just nylon cordage, and inside is a 
fire starting core. There is no paracord involved. I mean, it's too small to really put that in there. But you get four strands of um, these, this size that's kind of woven into a single solid bit. And the little red fluff ball that you see in front of you is actually only two of those strands. And as soon as you process your tender correctly, all of that stuff lit up like a freaking Christmas tree. And like with any processing of your tender, one thing I can tell you guys is you can never, ever over process your tender. Now, when you have very light, fluffy, airy tender, this is where the spark wheel is going to shine. Where it won't shine, and you'll have to upgrade to something like a lighter, a ferro rod that actually showers down a lot more sparks, is when you move into things like the fatwood shavings, you're moving into fatwood itself, natural tinder that doesn't want to light, it doesn't have accelerants, it doesn't just light up in a very quick second. And even when I was doing, trying it with the celluloid guitar picks, unless you process that thing down to almost non-existence, you can't use the nano spark. Given its lightweight versatility and waterproof nature, this is something I can feel comfortable throwing into a Altoid 10 or like a fire kit of any kind. Doesn't really matter what you choose to put in there but you could kind of have something like this, or alternatively, this would be very right at home for someone who wants to have a more complete everyday carry. With that said, we love the ExoTac NanoSpark. I'm really excited about this. I love the design um, improvements they've done on the traditional spark wheel. The fact that they added the capsule, they have the O-rings for waterproofing. They made sure there was a port for lanyard and it, everything is replaceable as far as the o-rings and the flint is concerned it strikes really really well i haven't had any issues where this has stuck on me and it won't spin so something that i've noticed from exotax a lot of their stuff is high quality and it's something i appreciate from them they do offer it in a variety of colors so when you pick this up from somewhere like amazon or an outdoor retailer no matter where you go this is more or less what the packaging will end up looking like. You'll get the four tinder quick tabs plus the one that's inside. So you get five pieces of fire tinder plus the Exotac Nano Spark, all kind of nicely, neatly packaged. But all in all, that just about does it for this video. And if you enjoyed the test footage and our presentation of the Nano Spark by Exotac, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about does it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.